Alrighty guys, so today we are going to be testing out foreign cartridges inside a Nintendo Switch. And if you look here, there's a lot of cartridges. And we all know that Switch games should work on Switch cartridge. So I'm just going to make sure that the cartridge slot actually works. Just to show you it working. blowing up so there it is smash bros loaded up so now I guess we could try the other cartridges so now let's just take out smash from the cartridge slot and now let's try some other games first I want to try the big cartridges and see what happens okay so we have first off we have this NES cartridge for Mario Duck Hunt and just look at it compared to the size of the switch it's a giant. So I guess if you try to put this in, it's obviously not going to fit. Same thing with the Super Nintendo cartridge, which is a bit smaller than the original NES cartridge. When you try to put it in here. And let's try and compare its size to the Switch. So it looks like its size covers the entire screen. And so it just won't fit. And, and even with the smaller N64 cartridge, it won't fit. Even though it's smaller than the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo cartridge. If you try sticking it in here, it's a giant. It won't fit. And it, it's kind of, well, it covers more than half of the screen. So that's, so that just explains how big it is. And then we have this Genesis cartridge right here, which is, close to the N64 cartridge's size and probably takes us a less size on the switch than the N64 cartridge does so let's see what happens when we try to put the Sega cartridge in it doesn't fit and so now we're going to move on to the handhelds and so, let's just start with probably one of the biggest handheld cartridges I've seen, which is for Game Boy. So, it looks pretty small, and if we compare that to the Genesis cartridge, I'd say it's pretty small. And if we put this on the switch, it's pretty small. So when we try putting it in here, it's still too big to fit on the cartridge slot, so it won't work. And then there's the there's a similar sized Game Boy Color cartridge, which is this is for a Pokemon trading card game and it's exactly the same size and has the same appearance as the classic gray Game Boy cartridge well I know this is Pokemon blue but it works similarly to the gray cartridges they just 
They just did this just back in the day Pokemon used to color their cartridges. But anyway, this is just really supposed to be a gray cart. This is a black cart and it won't fit. And if we try the Game Boy Color Rumble cartridge, basically what these cartridges were, were basically... They were for Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy games, but they had a little slot to put a AAA battery in, so that since the game had a built-in rumble feature, it re required the AAA battery to have enough power to for the cartridge to rumble. And it's and it's pretty big and well the the cartridge size to insert it is the same but it's a bit bigger because of the battery slot so if we try putting this in it won't fit there's another type of cartridge I forgot to add here which is the Game Boy Color exclusive cartridge these ones will work on Game Boy Color but will not work on any of the older models of the Game Boy. And it should have the same size as the other Game Boy cartridges when compared together. Except for the Rumble one, which is a bit oversized. And just look at them. They look pretty. <laughs> they, they, they just look pretty much the same size. So if you try putting this one in to the cartridge slot of the Nintendo Switch, it's not going to fit. And now we'll try the Game Boy Advance, which is a bit smaller when compared to the older Game Boy cartridges. But the thing is, it still kind of has the same size uh, for the cartridge slot that the older ones do. If if I could just compare these, then you could just see how similar their size is. And so when I try putting this one in here, it won't fit. And those cartridges may have been a bit too big, but in order for this, if, but if I want this thing to work, maybe I have to find some smaller cartridges. I guess a DS game mold should work. <coughs> the DS game is a bit too big. To fit, and the same can be for the 3DS game over here, which is almost the same size as the DS game. Well, it pretty much is the same size as the DS game, except it has this little thing here, <laughs> meaning it wouldn't work on older DS models. So if I try putting this one in here. won't fit. And there was also another handheld console which didn't really use cartridges but used its own thing called Un Universal Media Discs which was the PSP. And this is a PSP game and it's pretty big and I'm just gonna see if I could compare it to the Game Boy games okay so it's around the size of a Game Boy game and so if we try putting this in here it won't fit Now that we tried all the cartridges, 
There are some other things that I think I might want to try. So I guess one thing we could try is see what would happen if we put a USB flash drive inside. And it looks like it can fit a USB flash drive, so I guess I could just see what happens. I think it I think it's going in. I guess it does have USB support. Now let's see what happens if we try playing a game. It doesn't show any files or anything on here. So I guess it doesn't work. And I I pretty much tried everything by this point. <coughs> the only thing left is to give it money. Let's see if I can give it a penny. Okay, so it fits, but it says the game card could not be read. Please remove and reinsert it. I guess it doesn't want my penny. Maybe I Nintendo eShop account. And now let's try a quarter. Well, it kind of fits, but it doesn't go all the way in. Now I'm just going to see if I could give it 11 cents. Looks like it doesn't really want my money. I've, I've tried pretty much everything by this point. I guess dollar bills are the only thing remaining. Let's see how it reacts when I put one dollar inside. Okay, so it looks like the dollar could fit inside, but I can't close the thing now. I guess it doesn't want my money. And I guess I should just end the video before I end up breaking the game card slot thing. And there was one thing I forgot to mention, which was the Game Boy camera or any other cartridges, which wouldn't work due to it being too big. But let's just check to see if I, if I made the little switch a bit too upset.
I guess the Switch likes me again. I'll just end the video now.